Hello friends, welcome to Official Learning World. So today we are going to cover another project in C++ program playlist that is how to make a timer in C++. So first of all, I will uh, make a function and, and you can also write this code in the main function but I will use a function so that I can use it uh, many times, okay? Uh, that will reduce my code length, okay? Line of code will be less, okay? So I am going to uh, define a function named uh, display time okay display and uh, time okay so i am defining this function here and this function will be called in main so whenever i will compile and run my code first of all the compiler the control will become in main function okay so because we know that whenever i comp uh, whenever you compile the code first of all main function executes so uh, when main function will execute this function will be called and the body of this function will be execute okay so now i am going to declare some variables to display time and that that variables will be uh, type data type will be integer okay and uh, its names will be hr for hours and minutes for minutes and seconds okay sec for seconds so these variables uh, why i declare because it will store the hours minutes and seconds and it will display on the console okay so first of all i will uh, initialize it with zero so that i can uh, so that these uh, variables will not be initialized with the garbage value okay so now i am going to use a loop and its condition will be true okay so what means that this uh, loop will continuously execute until i will close my program with myself okay okay so this function will uh, this loop will continuously execute because the condition it means true okay this uh, so this function uh, this loop will be execute again and again okay until the condition will be false so now i am going to display my time okay so i will write just uh, some uh, like star asterisk and i will write here uh, timer and just uh, star okay so why i uh, re uh, write this so first of all i just write this for displaying time okay for and l or I will write just here end line, end line, end line. Okay. So what? Uh, why I write these uh, variables and uh, some sort of lines? So it will uh, just display these stars and timers on the console. Okay. So now I am actually going to display the time, minutes, and seconds on console so for this i will uh, just try it uh, print the these variables values on the console so i will write uh, set uh, overs and minutes just separated by a colon and you can also write here hr for overs like overs and uh, one space and then you can display here minutes and then uh, one space and just write it here minutes and then space and colon and then another space and then write here uh, seconds okay so that it will able it will be able to display the minutes overs and seconds on the console okay so just okay so end line okay so uh, now here you can also write some uh, backslash and also and you can just write here some asterisk also these are uh, just for the formatting uh, it is up to you that you want it or not and you can remove this line also okay so this this will display my time on console but i have to increment it otherwise it will just display zero zero on the console so i will just increment it but there is a uh, some a technique for this so first i will i will write here if uh, seconds okay seconds increment okay so what this uh, i use here increment operator you can also write it as second is equal to second plus one okay these are uh, same in meanings it means that just add one in the seconds okay so first of all the second will be zero it will be print and then it will be one then again loop will execute and it will display one then it will be increment it value will be 2 okay 1 plus 1 then 1 plus 2 2 plus 1 is uh, like see these okay so now now i am just going to uh, increment it okay uh, so if seconds is great equal to 60 so it means that one minute is completed so if one minute is completed then i will increment minute by one okay so what it means that 
uh, when the because I we know that there are 60 seconds in a minute and there are 60 minutes in a one hour so okay so that's why I write here that if seconds is equal equal to 60 so it means that one minute is completed so it will increment minute by one okay so now I'm going to write here a, another condition using if that will be that if 60 minutes are completed so it means that one hour is complete so it will increment over by one okay so I'm going to write here that if minute equal equal to 60 then it means that the the one over will is completed and I will increment the over uh, plus plus okay H O R H R okay so you can also write here uh, HR is equal to HR plus one these are both in same meaning so what I am uh, what I did here is just display the time and I just increment seconds plus plus and minutes also plus plus but minutes will only be increment when the seconds will be 60 okay so uh, okay so now I am going to write here another use uh, call another function that will be sleep function okay uh, sleep function so what this sleep function will do this will display the uh, output on console with the passage of time okay in the previous video if you watched that my previous video in displaying the heart and uh, changing the color text I also use this function because this function uh, in turbo C++ this function is, is replaced by a delay function delay function is another function defined in conio.h and windows.h also so I am going to uh, just uh, write here they include that header file for this otherwise compiler will generate an error so that file is windows.h i am going to include another file and that is conio.h okay so this function requires a parameter that will be in milliseconds that how many times you want that the output will be print on con uh, that how many times it will require to display the output on console with a passage of time so it will just delay and pause and then display the uh, output on console okay so it requires a uh, parameter that will be an integer in the milliseconds so I we know that in a one second there are 1000 milliseconds so I am just going to write here uh, uh, for example 100 okay yeah for example uh, you can write also here 50 okay so what it means that we, uh, after 50 milliseconds it will display this and after this when uh, the condition will be checked that it is true then again it will uh, break a pause it will take a pause and then it will print this screen okay so I am going also to write here system function okay so this is what system function will do this function will just clean my console screen okay so why I write this function because if I will not include this function so my console output will be like it will print and print again and again so my previous video if you watch my previous video I am again trying to I compel you for watching that video because in previous video I have already explained the system function and sleep function as well system function CLS uh, in the parameter I write here CLS CLS means clear screen it will just clear my screen and then it will print the output on console and sleep function will take a pause and then after 50 milliseconds what it will do it will then print the output on console okay Okay, so system CLS function what will do it will just clean my console screen okay so these functions are defined in declared in console in and windows.h header file otherwise these function will not work and compiler will generate an error okay so uh, one important thing here is that there we know that there are 60 seconds in a minute okay so what this function uh, what when this loop will execute this loop will continuously execute and uh, after 60 minute after 60 seconds okay when the seconds will value will be 60 so it means that I am just uh, there uh, it will complete one minute and I am just right here that second is equal to zero so that it can again start the value from zero and then zero will be uh, increment with one two three four until 60 and after this another minute will be start so that second value will be again zero okay so here uh, I will write here that when 60 minutes are completed so it means that one over is completed so again when 60 will be complete so it means that uh, minute will be also initialized with the zero okay minute is also initialized with the zero okay so what it means that in the 60 seconds there will be complete one minute and in 
60 minutes they, it means that it complete one over okay so this function will uh, this condition will be checked and it means that first of all it will check that 60 seconds are completed so it will just increment minute value okay and it will again start the seconds from the zero uh, okay and it will check that minutes are 60 is equal to 60 or not minutes will not be equal to 60 then it will again just uh, come uh, after this uh, condition and it will again check the uh, loop condition that is true again it will clear the and it again it will take a pause and it will clear the screen and then it will display the con output on the console okay so that's how it the uh, this loop will execute okay so for for meeting i can include another t another function that is beep function what beep function will do you uh, may sometimes notice that in a watch there is a pro uh, the in a watch there is a some sort of okay to uh, speaker voice okay so this function the beep function in c++ is used to make a beep sound it generates a tone on speaker the function is basically synchronous for example it waits and does not return it to its caller function okay so basically this function in a short i can tell you that this function requires just two parameters that one first will be frequency that how much frequency it produce a sound that will be for example i can write here uh, 900 okay and the second parameter is the duration in milliseconds till sound is on so i am going to just write here uh, for example 100 okay so i am the function is completed and let's co compile and run over code okay so let's compile and run over code okay so let's see the output on console so let's see our output on console it will require some time and you can see okay five seconds six seconds eight seconds and you can see you can also listen a beep sound that is because of the beep function i used here so first of all what it is do what the function uh, b function is uh, doing here b function is used to make a beep sound and you know you see that after 60 seconds one is incremented it means that one minute is completed and it is uh, see, uh, printing one minute on the console and uh, you can see that 40, 8, 40 51 52 55 56 58. when 60 seconds are completed one the minutes variable initially background in the background minutes variable in, in is incrementing and that is why the minute is two minutes okay so let's see again so after 60 minutes after 60 seconds it is again showing me three minutes why it is showing me three minutes because there are 60 seconds in a one minute there are 60 minutes in a one hour after the 60 minute is completed it will be incremented and it will show one hour on the console okay so this is a, a little bit faster you can also write it here for example uh, uh, 30 so it will uh, take uh, 30 will pause and then display the console output on the console so let's see our output again and now you can see this 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 is a little bit slower than before okay so 23 24 after 60 seconds the minute variable will be increment and this will display one minute on console after 60 minutes it will display one over because the 60 minutes are in uh, one over so this is how i make a timer on console you can also modify it the code according to your own i will uh, put the all the source code link in the description you can also download the source code from the link in the description so if you like the video kindly uh, like uh, the video and subscribe my channel efficient learning world so first of all i will give uh, in the last i'm going to just give you an overview of this uh, function display function that is i require three variables over minutes and seconds then i use a loop here the loop it is uh, the condition is true you can also modify this condition according to your own because this loop will uh, execute until uh, undefined okay so this loop will uh, execute an uh, infinite times because the condition is true okay so you can modify this code according to your own as well okay so uh, then sleep function i used here so sleep function take a argument in uh, milliseconds uh, okay so what this function will do it will take a pause and then it will display the output on console so b function b function takes two argument first one is frequency of sound and second one is duration in milliseconds till sound is on so b function is used to make a beep sound you listen in the console output as well so then system function system function will just 
clear the console screen and then display the con output on the console whatever I write here code and see out will be uh, just uh, right uh, in uh, end line okay so you can also write here uh, backslash t backslash t means we means that it will give a tab space okay four spaces are in uh, one tab space okay so I'm going to compile and run again this program and you can observe the code okay so you see the b function is produced by b function the system the, the output on console you can see it is like a blinking why this is blinking because of the system clear screen this system function is too much fast that you are unable to just uh, see the difference okay so then sleep function it will take a pause and then it will display the output on the console so that is how we can make a timer uh, in console I, in the next video i am going to make another c++ project so if you like the video so kindly subscribe official learning world so thanks for watching this video if you have any uh, ambiguity in this program or can have, if you have any confusion then you can ask me in the comment section i will give you a link in the description from that link you can easily download this source code okay